So the first time home buyers, they have a lot of hesitation. Always they have fear of taking that next step to home ownership. Um, let's discuss financially. What should a first time home buyer be prepared for? So as far as down payment and closing costs. Leith, great question. Yes, there's a lot of hesitation on first time home buyers, rates being up right now. But as a first time home buyer, you know, you can uh, you know, bring as little as 3% to the table as far as your down payment goes. Now that does not include your taxes and prepaids and other closing costs. But what you can do with that is you can get concessions from the seller. I'm seeing that on a lot of purchase agreements now. Um, so you know, essentially, you can you know get up to three percent concessions as a first-time home buyer through a conventional program, um, which would offset you know the additional monies that you need to bring to the table. But at least that three percent would need to be brought. So aside from your, you know, down payment funds for closing, what are some other expenses that I can anticipate to have, you know, during the process aside from my closing costs? So another expense that a home buyer should be prepared for is the home inspection. That's typically would cost around six hundred dollars, depending on the size of the property. Um, that would include your radon test and sewer scope and general home inspection. Typically in the state of Michigan, the commission is paid by the seller. So that's not an expense that the buyer has to worry about. And you mentioned seller's concessions. So seller concessions is the amount of money that the seller can give to the buyer to use towards their closing cost at closing. It cannot cover down payment, but it could cover all the other closing costs like prorations, taxes, insurance, and title uh, expenses. If you have any leftover, you can use that towards interest rate points. So you can buy down your interest rate uh, that would lower your monthly payment.